Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my wardrobe. So today I'm going to be doing a huge wardrobe declutter. It's been a really long time since I've gotten in here and done one of these and since summer is starting to come to an end and I'm going to need to dig out my winter clothes again, I just want to see what I've got and what I just didn't touch at all this season so that I can put a couple of them in a donate pile. I might sell a few things on my Depop, which I will link down below for you guys. And the other things might just need to be thrown away. So I'm going to get in there and go through my entire wardrobe. I will try and not make this video too long, but I may need to break it into two parts. It depends how long it takes me to get through all of these different pieces. So let's just get in there and get started. But before we do, I just wanted to put in a super quick reminder. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I will be doing a apartment tour very soon. I just have to build some flat pack furniture, which got delivered yesterday and then it'll be all ready to show you around my entire space. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you're subscribed and let's just get into me pulling apart this giant mess of a wardrobe, which is pretty much going to start with me struggling to even open the door. Hence the need for the declutter. I'm going to have to really expose myself here, but I've got two sides to this mirrored wardrobe. This side has an upper hanging section and a lower hanging section. So on the top side, I put all of my tops and my shirts and things like that. And on the bottom side, I've got all of my shorts and sets and skirts and things like that. But as you can see, it is completely cluttered and I did really used to have it in a nice color coordinated order. I kind of used to put things that made sense together like singlets or camis and then just whatever colors they were. So I'm not really sure if I want to stick with having my blocked out colors to find things or if I would just want to go back to types of clothing instead. So let me know how you organize your wardrobe. I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. This is just how I've kind of done mine since moving into this apartment, which has a much smaller wardrobe than I'm used to, but by no means should I have got it this full. And I do have a lot of double ups of items. So I will just start right down this end, which is a couple of jackets and things. So this one is from Cook Eye and it's kind of like halfway between a jacket and a shirt. So I did want it for putting over items. I'm just wearing a comfy knit dress from Glassons, by the way. I didn't want to wear anything that I was going to be too uncomfortable in, but this kind of just goes on like this and it was just intended to be like a bit of a cool overshirt sort of thing. It's not super comfortable and it is that a little bit weird in between sort of thing. So I'm not entirely sure about this piece anymore and I haven't reached for it. So I think I might put it on the try on pile. And if I don't end up wearing it this week, then it's got to go. So you may be seeing this one pop up on the Depop. I have this knit. This is from ASOS. It's like a super comfy, big, oversized balloon sleeve knit, and it's in a nice beige color. So I'm going to keep that one. This top I bought, and it was it's kind of like a gold sparkly thing. Again, I feel like it was in at a point in time, and I just never ended up wearing it. It is a really beautiful top, but I'm just not going to wear it. So I'm going to sell this one as well. This next one is just a really comfy kind of, I think it's merino wool top from Cook Eye. Again, if you're not Australian, Cook Eye is just a really amazing staple brand that we have here. And it's kind of a little bit see-through and it was always just a really comfy basic to throw on like on a plane or something, but I just never reach for it anymore. And it's just really not something that I would wear. So I'm going to put that on the sell pile. The next one I have is this top from Glassons. It's just kind of like a polo neck sort of ribbed nude color top. And I bought this during lockdown because I just thought it would be comfy to get around in, but it really just doesn't suit me. I think it's a little bit more preppy style and that's just not really what I like to wear. So I'm gonna put that on the sale pile as well. The next piece is a pretty new one. It actually still has the tag on it. That's how new it is. I got this at H&M. It was literally only $20 and I did this in one of my hauls. It's just a really simple nude kind of sweater and it's really, really lightweight. So I'll be keeping that for the winter season ahead. 
Something else I got when I was in H&M, which I absolutely love, and they may still be selling, is this kind of poncho cape sort of thing. And I really love this. I got so many compliments when I was wearing it. It's like this beautiful, soft merino wool. And yeah, it just goes with absolutely everything. And I kind of thought with like, you know, black jeans and a hat and some ankle boots or something. So that's kind of how I would style that. And it's definitely going to be a staple that gets a lot of wear this year. Next item I have are a few of my older going out tops. So I have this nude one from cook eye and i do really like this it's obviously like a pretty tiny crop but if you wear it with some high-waisted jeans or a leather skirt or something it can look really nice so i'm going to keep that one the next item is this silky kind of top from bardo it's sort of hard to show how this goes on camera but basically it just is like an off the shoulder like silky top and this is a really nice going out one so i'm gonna hang on to that the next top is just a classic ribbed top in this kind of tan color that i got from Lessons, and that is an absolute favorite of mine so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one the other top that it was sharing a hanger with is this one I think it's from chic and it's an older top it's kind of got this beautiful knot detail on the front of it in a burnt orange color and it's sort of got these like cute safari animals on it but I just really don't see myself wearing this anymore I did get some really good wear out of it when I first bought it but I think I will sell that one the next top I have is this pink linen shirt this is a really good summer throwover kind of shirt and i always have got quite a lot of wear out of this if i just chuck it on when i'm doing like a beach day or something so i'm gonna hang on to this one next top is this kind of printed high neck top again this is like a super easy one to throw on if you just have to go to like a dinner or for me to wear to work so i'm gonna hang on to this one the next top I have is this kind of pom-pom knit. This is from Witchery and in Witchery I find you always go down a size. So this is a size small even though it's still quite oversized and it's got these cute pom-poms all over it. This is a little bit of a winter favourite of mine so I'm going to hang on to this one. The next top that I have is this one which was from Revolve I think and it is literally got these two tie side bits on either side of it. It's super, super soft and it's kind of in that tan color. This is more of a work top for me. I probably wouldn't really wear this on the weekend and I've really been making a conscious effort with my wardrobe to buy pieces that I can wear both at work and outside of work because as we know, I am still working from home like four days a week. So it's not really necessary to have a huge corporate wardrobe. And I sort of feel like my aim anyway is to be working from home part time forever, hopefully, like fingers crossed. So I would like to stay with that arrangement because I just feel like it gives me a lot more freedom, obviously, to be able to do my YouTube as well. So this one I'm going to keep because it is so super soft and comfy for those days in the office. The next piece I have is this one from Zara. I actually bought this when I was in Morocco and it's just a apricot colored like really big oversized shirt. You can kind of wear it open or closed and like tucked into something. I don't know what it is about this piece but I do really like it so I'm gonna hang on to this. Another wardrobe staple that I've sort of hung on to for quite a while and I just don't want to get rid of yet is this khaki linen top. It's got three quarter sleeves and a knot and it kind of wraps around in a really interesting way. This one I had for traveling and I haven't worn it at home so if it doesn't get a wear in this next year then it does have to go but I just can't bring myself to get rid of it yet. It's not sentimental or anything even though I did buy it to go to Hong Kong but yeah I just really like this one. The next top that I have is this really nice sage green one from Kukai. It's in their merino wool kind of knit and it's got these gathered sleeves on it and um, I just really like this one. I really like that sage green color. You would know from the branding on my channel that sage green is a favorite color of mine. So I will be hanging on to this one. And there are a few other green items that I have in here as well, but they were all kind of new. So I probably won't clear any of those out. I've got these two shirts. One is like a button down sage green color and the other one is this stripy shirt. And these are two really good basics of mine. So I'm gonna keep those as well. 
The last two tops in this kind of green color section of my wardrobe is this one, which is a really nice cowl neck going out top. This was just pretty cheap off Princess Polly, I think. And the other one is this khaki cami, which I just got from Glassons. Again, it's a real classic as well that you can just pair with jeans and head straight out the door. It doesn't really need too much. You can dress it up with jewelry. So I really want to hang on to that one as well. The next item I've got is this floral top. I bought this and wore it out to dinner once, but um, that was literally the last time that I ever wore it. I, it's just from ASOS and it has this nice kind of detail up the front and then ruching on the back, but I just don't really see myself wearing this to be honest. So I think this one will go on the sell pile. This next one is really hard for me to get rid of, but it's time. And that is this floral top, which I've got from Chic. It was something that I really wanted for a long time when florals were first kind of in. Like I just never had a staple floral shirt in my collection. That being said, I did wear this a few times, so it did get a lot of love while I was hanging on to it, but it's just not really my style anymore. So I'm going to sell this one as well. This one I'm not 100% sure if I should keep or sell. It doesn't look like absolutely anything on the hanger. It's one of those situations, but when it's on, it's really beautiful. And it's just this kind of baby pink silky blouse. And this one is not to be tucked in. It kind of just goes over like leggings or a long pair of pants. And it has this cool kind of rope detail that ties around the neck. This is from a label called Tussa. And I think I want to hang on to this one for now because it is something that I really did used to like to wear at work. The next two items are in that pinky kind of color as well. There's this one floral kind of crop and the other one is one of these white kind of scrunchy tops. I don't know why I bought that white scrunchy top. I do really like this floral one and I will wear that, but this top does not suit me. This is not age appropriate for me anymore. And it was just a little trend that I thought I would get back into, but that one I'm going to donate. This next top is a navy blue one. We've kind of got into the blue section of the wardrobe now. And this is like a moto style tee. It's just from Decuba. And I really like this one. My partner is not the biggest fan of it, I guess, because it's a little bit more masculine looking or something, but I still really like this one. So I think I'm going to hang on to it for now. This next top is a navy blue kind of bias cut top. And I did always really like this one literally just because of the cut. It is from H&M, so it wasn't anything terribly expensive. And I just think this color is just a bit nothing. Like I'm not really going to get anywhere out of this. So I think it's time to pass this one on. This next top is a beautiful powdery blue one and it is kind of like an off the shoulder style from Beginning Boutique. I absolutely love this. I would wear it with like a white denim or white linen skirt or pants and I just can't bring myself to get rid of this. I still wear it all the time and it's just really casual but super glamorous if done up in the right way and it's a real favorite of mine. So I'm gonna keep this one. These next two shirts are just some wardrobe basics. I feel like everybody has a staple stripey shirt. So I've got this dark one, which is kind of like the navy blue and white stripes. And that's a short sleeve one. And then I've got this long sleeve stripey top as well. So I'm going to keep both of these for now because it did take me a little while to find like the perfect stripey tees as basics. This next item of mine, I'm really on the fence if I keep or get rid of. It's kind of like a chambray denim sort of shirt. And this is from Decuba as well. I've had this for a while. In fact, this is the second one of this shirt that I've bought. So I did have this originally and I washed it and it shrunk. So I went and bought it again because I loved it so much. But now I'm just not really sure if this kind of fits in with my style. So I think it might be time to pass this one on. This next top is a crop from Cook Eye. It's again in that kind of beautiful blue and sage sort of color. And I just really love this one. This was kind of like a bit of a clubbing top, I guess, but it can definitely be dressed up. And maybe if you put a blazer over the top or something, be worn out to dinner. So I do really love this one. If you're ever unsure about Cook Eye sizing as well, um, it's all a little bit different. So they have zero, one, and two. I always get my tops in a one and my dresses usually in a size 38, which is an Australian 10, but it just really depends. So I would say you can just find a conversion chart on their website and that's the easiest way to work it out. 
The next item is a really corporate style shirt that I have. This is a beautiful powdery blue kind of color. Um, this is definitely corporate only. I don't think that you could kind of dress this down in any way and I just don't need it. I don't really go to meetings that are like that. I'm an architect for a job, so most of my meetings and my work are done on a building site or in a site shed. All the clients will come to our office, but it's more important to be like really stylish and on trend than having to wear things that are ultra corporate. So I think it might be time to pass this one on. This one is another Decuba shirt, but I do really love this one still. It kind of just gives me nautical vibes and I can definitely see myself wearing this to Italy as planned if the borders ever reopen. I really do hope that everything works out in this next year for everybody and we can finally all have our borders open to each other again it would be really nice to see some friends on the other side of the world see my family and yeah I just am dreaming of traveling again and having those long lazy afternoons in the sun so I'm definitely gonna keep this one now we're into the white section of the wardrobe. So I do have this basic ribbed top, which I bought from Glassons, but their stuff when you wash it really just kind of discolors very quickly. So I'm gonna have to donate this one because it's kind of just looking a little bit gray. So I have found a replacement for it though, because I do really like to have a good ribbed white basic. So I found this top at Dotty on the weekend. This is in the softest kind of knit material and it's a little bit longer than the previous crop, which I just think is a better fit for me. So I picked this up instead and I'm gonna keep this one. This next top is a white uh, knotted kind of t-shirt and I think this is just a really good basic. This one actually does have the tag on because I literally just bought it the other week and I'm yet to wear it, but it was just from the Iconic and it's in a size eight. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this as a new wardrobe staple. The other type of white singlet I've got is like this muscle tee kind of style. And I really love this if it's paired with like a silky midi skirt and some ankle boots and a bunch of gold necklaces laid over the top. So this is a definite winner for me as well. And I'll be hanging on to that one too. The next item I've got is this glass and scoop neck white t-shirt. Now this one was a little bit see-through and I'm not really a fan of that because obviously I might want to wear a dark bra or something and yeah, I just can't really get around the fit of this. It's a little bit too loose for the size. So I'm going to donate this one, I think. This one is a Decuba shirt. I used to tie this in a knot. It's kind of got this um, detailing on the bottom of it, but I just don't really wear this anymore. And I don't really think it's something that I'm gonna reach for. So I'm going to pass this one on. This next one is a real essential for me here in Melbourne because it does get really cold and I usually just throw this over my gym clothes or my Pilates outfit in the morning. It just says the word blanc or white here on the front of it in this kind of stitching and I do really like this one so I'm going to hang on to this as well. This next one is a button down bodysuit, which were kind of a really in style. It's from my friend's brand, which is called Base the Label, but it's super see-through. I think this was their first run and they were a little bit of a prototype. So I do really, really love the style, but I just don't think I can wear it because you kind of need to wear it without a bra, but then you can't wear it without a bra. So I'm gonna have to donate that one because I have just never worn it since trying it on. This next one is just a really nice basic white singlet from Stradivarius which I got off ASOS and it's got these really nice tortoiseshell kind of buttons down the front so I'm gonna hang on to this one because I still just think it's a really good wardrobe staple. This one has been sharing a hanger with this cami. It's just a really plain polka dot cami, but I do really like this. I think it's good to have a few really plain basics in your collection so I'm gonna keep that one as well. Speaking of white camis, I have an entire <laughs> clothes hanger full. Um, there are three different types on here. So I've got this white thick strapped basic singlet from Cook Eye, which I'm going to keep. I've got this silky white cami, which is just from Glassons, and I'm going to keep this one as well. But the last one hanging on here is just this basic white kind of cami, and it has slightly thicker straps, which I did really like, but it's unfortunately just discolored a little bit. So I'm actually just gonna have to throw that one away. 
The next item is this t-shirt from ASOS and this is an absolute new favorite. It just says the words Mont Blanc and has a picture of the mountain on the front and this was just from ASOS in a size 8 and I absolutely love this. It's quite an oversized shirt so I would just kind of wear it like knotted up at the front or something with some jeans or a skirt. This next one is a favorite, so I don't want to get rid of this just yet. It is in that drawstring kind of style, so you can wear it long or shorten the drawstring and have it as more of a crop. Oops. This was from Glassons, and it's just in this silky white kind of material, so I'm going to hang on to this one. This t-shirt is from Decuba, which used to be a super favorite label of mine. I've got a few pieces from there and it just says St. Bart's in these sequins and I really love this white tee. I will literally wear this until it dies. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. Something that's been lurking in my wardrobe that I honestly just haven't worn is this sweater from Glassons. It's kind of in a ribbed white material, if you can see, and I really did think that I would reach for this, but I absolutely have not. So I'm going to pass this one on because it just is taking up room in my wardrobe and I'm never going to wear it. All right, I've moved us down a little bit because we're getting closer. I just have to move through a couple more items. So I have this spotty shirt, which was just from Target. I do really like this. I really haven't worn it in such a long time, but I just can't bring myself to get rid of it yet. I feel like I have some other ideas for how I could style it. So I think I might try and wear it. So you might see it popping up on my Instagram soon, but if not, you can hold me accountable and tell me that I need to chuck it out. This next one is such a boring item, but it is a see-through kind of white long sleeve, long style shirt, sorry. And I really do love this for wearing a beautiful bralette under, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. This next top is a linen kind of shirt. I bought this in case I ever wanted to wear it overseas, but that is looking less and less likely at the moment, and it's just really something I've never reached for, so it's time to pass this one on. This next one I absolutely love. It is a t-shirt that just says, courage it's from a boutique called one and me and I love this I will link them down below if you are interested in having a look at their website they've got a bunch of different brands like Kavari and other ones on their website and I love this shirt so I'm gonna hang on to this one this one is a silky shirt from Zara and again I just think this one is a really good wardrobe staple so I'm gonna hang on to that one these two tops I just cannot see myself wearing. One of them is from Verge Girl and it's kind of in a cream color. So just show you this one. I think I could probably just keep it as pajamas. So I might do that. It's just this really plain top with like the black stitching on it, but I've just never really reached for it. So I think I'll hang on to that and just put it into the pajama drawer. And this next one is a sort of racer back style white top from Glassons. So I haven't sort of had the right opportunity to wear this one yet, but I'm also not sure if I will. So I might pass this one on. This next top is a kind of paisley shirt. And again, this used to be my style and I thought I would have worn it. It's just from Lee Cooper, which is a really nice brand, but I just don't think I'm ever gonna wear it sadly. So it's gonna have to get passed on. The other top that I have in here is something else I will just donate to my pajama drawer and that is just this stripy singlet. Again, I really just can't see myself wearing this. It is a good wardrobe staple though, so at least if it's in my pajama drawer, I'm kind of hanging on to it and I may want to pop it out and wear it. The next item is this grey jumper from Witchery. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep wearing grey this season, but it is really essential to have a bunch of jumpers in Melbourne for when it gets absolutely freezing. So I think I might hang on to this one for now. The bit that throws me off is just like on one side. It's got this like huge split up it and it's just a little bit weird. So I will hang on to it, but if it doesn't suit me, I might just get rid of it this time. This one is a, another kind of grey jumper and I do prefer this one over the other one and it's just this really beautiful light material so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. On second thoughts actually, I really think I might just get rid of this. I don't think I'm going to wear it and if I were to want to wear a grey one, I think I should just keep the one that I actually really like. So we're going to get rid of it. This next one is a grey kind of stone coloured t-shirt from Zara and again this is just a really good basic so I'm going to hang on to that one. 
This next piece is a sort of tight grey top in a merino wool from Glassons. So that is another good wardrobe staple. So I'll keep that one this time. This has to go. I've just never worn it. So there's two things on this hanger. One is this kind of gunmetal colour singlet. And I think I bought this for a festival or something, but I just have never worn it. So it's time to donate that one. And the other thing is this grey shirt. And while this might be like a good overshirt, it's kind of got this rose gold hardware on it. And I just really don't like that. So I'm going to have to put that in the donate pile. So we have finally reached the final color in my entire upper hanging section and I wish I could say it was a small one but it is black and I don't know about you guys but I wear a lot of black so it may take a little while to get through this final bit but I think that is where I am going to have to leave this one for today because it's just going to carry on if I do too much more of this. So I will show you here but we've already made an enormous dent on the hanging room so this black shirt is going to be one I will definitely keep. It's kind of like a long linen oversized shirt and it's a little bit sheer. So this is an absolute favorite of mine. The next one is this kind of one sleeve top. This was just one from ASOS, which looks amazing with like a pair of jeans or a belt. And it's got these kind of frill details on it. So that is a real wardrobe favorite of mine. This next one is another cook eye top. It's like a racer back staple black basic top. And this is in really soft and thick cotton. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. This top was a new addition. I got this one online on sale. I don't know how well it will show up, but this one is from Decuba and it's like a high neck shirt. And I really, really do love this one. So I can't wait to wear that. The next one is this kind of button down black shirt and this one I haven't actually got to wear yet so I think I might hang on to this for the moment and I'll see if I can actually style it up with something. The next shirt on this hanger are a ribbed one shoulder cook eye top which I'm going to keep. There is this loose backless black singlet which is an absolute classic. And then this one on the back, I am definitely going to pass on. It is a mesh kind of top that I got from Glassons. And I sort of thought I would wear it or style it with something, but I just haven't sort of reached for it. So I think I'm going to pass that one on. This next hanger has a couple of black camis on it. This one, I think I'm going to pass on. It just doesn't fit as nice as the other ones. It's kind of like a straight top and it's got these ties on it. And I just really don't reach for it anymore. So I'm going to pass that one on. This one, however, I am in love with. It's a lace cami from H&M. It's absolutely beautiful and has these button details down the back. So that one I'm definitely keeping. This black top just needs to go. You know when you get a couple of basics every year and I've just got this long sleeve black cotton top and it just looks like nothing because it pretty much is nothing and it's peeling really badly. So this one I'm just going to donate. This next hanger is some ones that really need to go as well and it hurts me a little bit to let these go but it is time. This is just a H&M kind of singlet. I think I might keep this one for the gym so I will probably just put that in a separate pile to hang up in that drawer instead. But this one is this kind of like long jumper that I used to wear over like a slick pair of leggings or something. And while I do really love it, it has just seen its day. So it's definitely time to donate this one. This one is a long sleeve black mesh top. And I do really love this for styling under a dress or something. So I'm going to keep this one. This one is a short sleeve version of the same kind of black mesh top. So I'm going to hang on to that one as well. On this one, I've got a black lace bodysuit. I've got a mesh bodysuit similar to that other one that I passed on in the top version and a plain black cotton bodysuit. So I will hang on to those. 
The last item I have in that section of the wardrobe is something that I got recently just off ASOS and it's this black satin blazer. So I do really like this. It looks amazing just open or if you cinch it in with a belt. So definitely going to hang on to that one. So let me just slide all of the clothes down so you can see how much stuff I've gotten rid of. Ta-da! So literally pretty much like a third of my wardrobe is now gone, which is absolutely incredible. I've really needed to do this for the longest time because otherwise I just end up standing at my wardrobe thinking I have nothing to wear. And actually I have so, so many items. They were just all too crowded and didn't have like an appropriate amount of hanging room so that I could actually see what I've got. So this is much better organized now and I'm really happy with where I got to with this declutter so thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this declutter I will definitely continue and do the entire lower hanging section and also I have this entire drawer section back here which I haven't even started on yet so I will put up the other parts of this when I get around to it but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye